The next block we're working on is L13, and this is the last block of the 12th row of this quilt. So we're getting close to the end. When we laid out the pieces for this block, they were slightly smaller, and that was because they needed to have some thickness here. So my pieces are gonna have, so that we're gonna have some stability. So you can see that here, but they worked out just fine if you look at the block sorting video, the bag sorting video, excuse me. And um, this is a pretty basic thing, but we are dealing with curved basting. And I do have a video on ba how to base this, but in the interest of efficiency, I will go over it briefly here. We have, obviously the basting for the straight pieces is pretty self-explanatory. When we get into outside curves, we're gonna use a gathering stitch and I'm gonna stitch through here and then I'm gonna pull it tight as I fold it over and stitch it into the paper. But before I do the outside, I'm going to do the inside of this piece. And the inside requires cutting in here so that you snip the fabric in a few places, but you gotta make sure that you don't get to the paper. So it's kind of a, a tricky little thing. You don't want to cut too much, but you don't want to cut too little. And I'm going to fold these over and glue them before I do the gathering stitch on the outer curve. So for these, we're going to do the short sides, and then we're going to do the inside curve with the snipping, and then we're going to do the gathering stitch. These are going to be the, the um, straight sides first, and then the gathering stitch. And these, of course, are gonna be, I'm gonna do these first, then the cutting, snipping of the inside curve, and then this so that it can go on top of this. For assembly, I have a couple of options. I can assemble this in circles, in concentric circles, but I think I may wanna do this in pie pieces because I think I'm gonna be able to get this line better aligned. So if I do this to this to this, I can get a straighter pie piece than if I do a circle upon a circle upon a circle. So that's what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this in pie pieces. So I'll be able to base this and then base this, attach it here, and base this, attach it here, and then go around in each pie piece. So let's get started with pie piece number one. So I've gone around and basted the inside sections of each one of these inner pie pieces. I've also done the gathering stitch basting on one of these outer curves. And if I could pick it up. So what the deal is, is I will go through here. I, I pull, if you keep the knot on this side, then it's gonna be a lot easier to take these out, take the basting out without having to flip it over. So you, you pull the needle through this way, and then you start a gathering stitch, depending on whether you're left-handed or right-handed. So here, right-handed. I pull this through from the back, the knot is on the front of the paper, and then I gather stitch to here. I stitch it through the paper, and then I pull, and then as I go through, I will tighten it, and then I will baste it to the paper. And that's what I did here. So then you end up with stitches here. And then when you're done attaching this and you go to take the papers out, you clip these and pull them from the front. That way you don't have to go and flip around. On the inside curve, as you can see here, I've clipped it almost to the corner and then I've basted it and I pushed it real nice and tight so that I have that shape and I've clipped this one here. So I've clipped it about three or four times. That's about the size that you want it. And then I'll, I'll glue it, baste it to this other side. So right now I'm gonna put the gathering stitch on this so that I can attach it to the central pie piece. So I've got this gather stitched on the other side. So I'm gonna attach it to the pie piece. I went ahead and basted this I did the inside first and then the outside edge, and I just wanted to point out that the back overlaps, so when I go to attach this, I wanna make sure that I don't sew this down. I wanna you know, lift it up and stitch to this piece rather than the back piece. So let me get this assembled. So I've assembled this whole pie piece. I've lifted up that, that ridge back here so I could get under here. 
The one thing I wanted to point out is when you're stitching and you come up to these little notches, you want to make sure that you um, are a good distance away so that you can get some grip without having to have the fabric fray anymore. So I did like a, a lock stitch here and a lock stitch here and I wanted to make sure that these were secure without compromising the fabric any more than it already is. So this is what my pie piece looks here. This one's going to have, you know, it's going to be these colors. But I'm going to set this aside and go on to the next pie piece. I've basted and assembled the second pie piece. So you're, so you're going to have two pie pieces that look like this so you can assemble them in the way you need to. So I will get to my next one. I've got my third pie piece assembled and now I will go on to the last one. I finished my last pie piece so now I will connect them in pairs. So I've attached my pie pieces together in the block. The last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take out my basting stitches from my gathering. I'm going to clip them from the front and then pull them out as I go so then I can have that done so when I put it in the quilt it won't be in the way. So I got all of my gathering stitches out of my block and now I have a L13 block that's complete. Thank you. 